What's up everybody? My name is BVM Sirius and welcome back to another vlog video. We actually just started our day by leaving home and we made a pit stop in Lexington to a small brewery. I actually had a couple cups of beer. They were both really good and we also had a what was known as a cheeseburger pizza. It wasn't bad. Um, definitely something I'll try again if I actually do go back there. Also, before we actually just arrived to our hotel, we made a stop to the Holly Hill Inn here in in Midway or over by Frankfurt to get a couple pictures and to just see what it all looks like before we actually go in for our reservations because that's where we are going to be going to tomorrow. And not only that, but we actually stopped at our hotel to drop everything off and now we are actually on our way to a distillery. This is actually called Buffalo Trace Distillery. They specialize in bourbon. Now for me personally I have no problems with bourbon but I just don't think I could drink like a straight ounce of it just because of how strong it is. It really takes my breath away. Um, hopefully they'll actually have some like ice to serve with it because I actually spoke to my general manager about it yesterday and she was saying that it's better to have bourbon served with some ice because it makes it a little more neutralized makes it easier for me to down the whole thing of bourbon without it like burning my tongue or taking my breath away so yeah I cannot wait to actually see what this distillery is like so I will show some more when we actually arrive so before stopping at the distillery we decided to make a quick stop here at the Kentucky State Capitol overall I think it's a very pretty area and right as we were getting out of our car and a giant acorn literally like fell and hit the roof of our car. I heard like a loud ping coming off of it. Yeah, we figured we'd just check out the beauty of the state capitol. I mean, we got all these flowers here. We got the capitol itself. We got all these like sprinklers in the distance. So me and my dad just figured, why not just take a few pictures of it? So this is like a whole little neighborhood that's just on the opposite side of the river, just around the capitol building. And all around us is like mountains, like cliff sides, all these points from here. Yeah. So we're just in a neighborhood that's completely encapsulated with the Capitol building across the Kentucky River, which is down that way. That's the bridge we came across. Yeah. So we originally planned to actually go into the distillery for a tour, check out everything inside the distillery, maybe even try out some bourbons. But unfortunately, the guy that we spoke to at the front gate actually told me and my dad that we had to make a reservation in like 20 days in advance. And we had no idea that that was even a thing. I'm pretty sure my dad even looked online and nowhere online did he see anything about there needing to be like a 20 day advance as far as reservations go. So the guy also did say that we could actually go into the gift shop and we were gonna go into the gift shop, but at that point we just decided it really wasn't worth it. So right now we are in downtown Frankfurt as you can kind of see, and we're mostly just gonna be walking around. But also it looks like it's gonna rain soon. So we, we were gonna do some Frisbee golf. We might actually just wait until the, the clouds let up a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't like rain on us. So that's why we're actually doing this instead of Frisbee golf. Hopefully we might get in some frisbee golf. We shall see what actually happens. For now, me and my dad are just in downtown Frankfurt trying out some of the coffee shops here, maybe get some wine somewhere, and hopefully the clouds let up by then. All right, so right now we are actually in a wine store here. Pretty much just waiting on my dad while he makes a selection. My dad's actually a certified sommelier, so he knows the kind of wines to actually look out for. I'm, a, I'm also a pretty big wine drinker myself. I do like some really good wines. But when it comes to drinking wine, I do like the more sour kinds of wine. I don't like the super sweet wines, like dessert wines. Only unless it's like paired with something like really good. But other than that, I mostly like to stick with like the 
like really good wines like the Pinot Noirs, Pinot Grigios, and stuff like that. All right, so we actually just got done at the wine store. My dad actually just bought a nice bottle of bourbon and we just stopped in a coffee shop. And I actually just got myself a vanilla macchiato. My dad actually got himself a caramel macchiato. But anyways, I think we're gonna try this and just see how it is. actually really good. I like it. So we just came back to the hotel to get our frisbee golf bags here because we actually just left them and we were gonna go do some frisbee golfing after we just got done wandering around in downtown Frankfurt. But yeah we're actually now headed over to a frisbee golf course since we just finished up our business and and may as well do it while we still have time available to us. All right, so me and my dad have officially made it here to a brand new Frisbee golf course that neither of us have played. It's actually 18 holes. We actually just found the first hole, which is actually further along down there. Don't know if you could really see it, but it's actually a par three. There we go, found it. All right, check it out, guys. Big giant stone leg is all across this like wall here. We're in the middle of Frisbee golf. We're actually on, what is this, like hole number 10 or something? Yeah, we're on hole number 10, and we got like all these like giant like stone Legos like right here. They, they look like Legos. Check it out, right over here, we just found some beehives. I was afraid my disc was gonna go over there and then hit the beehives, and that would not be a good thing. All right, we're at hole number 18. It's happened. Alright, so you can kind of see we're already pretty much at sundown, so yeah, it's really late. We just now got done and we're probably going to find somewhere to eat now because we're just like so exhausted right now. I'm sure you can already see it by just looking at me. But yeah, we, we just finished up and we're getting out of here. So we are here now at the Sig Lushers. So this is actually the third oldest family owned brewery in the entire United States. And right across the street from us is actually a really huge building. It's a, apparently it's called the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet. I'm not quite sure exactly what they do there, but I also just got a beer here. It's their version of an Oktoberfest. I cannot wait to try it. So we're gonna try it right now. That's good. That's really good. Yeah, this is this is good Oktoberfest right here. All right, so we basically just got our food. These look to be steamed beer brats, which actually have some spicy mustard on them, and they also have some sauerkraut, which is actually homemade. The guy said, and they also said that mustard and sauerkraut actually goes very well together. So we will have to try and see what it's like. It's actually really good. That's actually not bad at all. I like it. All right, so here now we actually have a strawberry Hefeweizen. This is actually 23 ounces, which is 11 more than the last cup we actually had, which was 12 ounces. So we're gonna try out the strawberry Hefeweizen and just see how it is. Hmm. Oh, you're right, it, it, it does taste different. Definitely not bad, I like it though. I love this strawberry Hefeweizen. So we pretty much just got done at the brewery. I think between the strawberry Hefeweizen and the Oktoberfest that we had, I'd have to go with the Oktoberfest. Probably the best Oktoberfest I've ever had between that and the last one that I had at the last brewery that we went to before coming to Frankfurt. Definitely worth checking out if you're ever in the Frankfurt area. But right now me and my dad are actually on our way to the Kentucky Capitol once again because apparently it's all lit up at night and we're just going to check it out and just see how pretty it is. About the beers I had, like particularly the Strawberry Hefeweizen, it reminded me a lot of kombucha mostly. So if you're not familiar with kombucha, it's basically like a, a fermented tea. I don't normally drink it as often as I feel like I should. And um, it, I know it's a probiotic and it's supposed to be like really good for you and also it can actually be very harmful to you if they if it's actually made the wrong way. 
But yeah, right now we're on our way to the Capitol. I can already kind of see it from here, but I'll show you guys in just a second. And probably after this, we're probably gonna head straight to Walgreens because we only had like two steamed beer brats at the brewery and we feel like a little bit more of a snack would be great for us. And here is the Kentucky State Capitol at night. You can literally see the green on top of the building. I think that's really pretty. Um, I definitely like the lights illuminating the way all the way to the entrance. That's a really cool effect right there. So I haven't really had much of an opportunity to show off a bit of the hotel room. But here's my queen bed right here. It's amazing that I actually get to have one of these to myself. It's perfect for me. Tomorrow is going to be a much more promising day for us because we're going to be checking out a 24 hole frisbee golf course which I've never heard of before. My dad's never heard of it before. Definitely be something very interesting to check out. And not only that, but me and my dad also have our reservations for the Holly Hill Inn, which I am very excited for. So the Holly Hill Inn, if you're not familiar with it, is actually a high-end fine dining restaurant, a five-star restaurant. And you have like two different options you can actually go with. You can go with a four course meal for about $55 or you can go with a seven course meal for about $80. So all the items you get, you obviously get, get like a little starter, you get a salad and you have like one of three different entrees that you can choose from as well as a dessert. So I'm, I'm very excited to be able to check out the Holly Hill Inn considering I actually personally just went to culinary school and graduated from it. So it'll be a nice little experience for myself. Also, so while me and my dad were actually at the Capitol, me and him were literally just talking about the time that we were at DC and how much our experience going to the Kentucky Capitol reminded us so much of the time we were in DC because at night wandering around the Capitol in DC, like, even if you were out at 1 o'clock in the morning, you pretty much had nothing to worry about. No one was going to rob you. Like, there was, like, a lot of, like, high security there. So, you pretty much felt safe. Although, when I went to Washington, D.C., the Mirror Lakes were actually being worked on. So, I didn't really get to see much of the Mirror Lakes. All I just saw was straight dirt. So, today, overall, definitely was not bad. But I believe tomorrow is going to be even better than it was today. And also, as far as stuff on my channel goes, I feel like I haven't really had much of an opportunity to, you know, upload as many videos as I should. And this was this is really mostly due to the fact that I'm, you know, I'm working like full time. You know, work definitely does take a toll on me and uh, and for obvious reasons, work always comes first more so than anything else. To me, at this very moment, YouTube is more of like an on the side sort of thing, but I definitely want to get into it a little bit more. Personally, lately I've been feeling like very lethargic. I just haven't had much time or energy to do anything. And like my brother suggested to me was try to eat like a nice hearty breakfast, which is something that me and my dad actually plan to do tomorrow. We were, we were actually just talking about different restaurants that we could actually go to for like tomorrow morning to get ready for the big day. So yeah, overall there really is like no set schedule as to like when like new videos and other content will be uploaded onto YouTube, but when they do, they'll be there for sure. It really just depends on like how much time is available to me and whether or not I have the energy to do it. So and again, I also want to make my videos more engaging to my audience. And that's, that's where I've been brainstorming a lot of ideas and I really hope to push these out and get these uploaded onto YouTube as soon as possible so that people can watch them. But yeah, overall today was a pretty interesting first day here in Frankfurt and um, I cannot wait to see what tomorrow will bring us. But anyways, I hope you guys actually enjoyed today's vlog. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Let's see if we can try to get to 100 subscribers by the end of this year. I know you guys can do it. And also, leave a like and a comment won't hurt either. But anyways, that's it for me today. I'm BVM Serious, and I hope you guys have a seriously amazing day. Thank you so much for watching.